And off the home turn, it's Delta Sierra, about to be joined now by Al Quawa in the blue colors. And then comes Lona Roo. Al Doreen has made a bit of ground on the inside of Al Mohalal. And in the center of the track is Planchart as Al Quawa hits the front now, racing down towards the final furlong. So it's Al Quawa, the leader now, and quickening up, has gone quickly. Three lengths clear, chased by Planchart. Then Delta Sierra, Lona Roo from the back, Mr. Michael, but racing now with 50 yards left to go. Al Quawa is clear, running towards the line and wins well from Planchart and on the near side, Mr. Michael in a close run. Think for the third with Lona Roo and then Diamond Avalanche and Al Mohalal. And off the home turn, it's Delta Sierra, about to be joined now by Al Quawa in the blue colours. And then comes Lona Roo. Al Doreen has made a bit of ground on the inside of Al Mohalal. And in the centre of the track is Planchart as Al Quawa hits the front now, racing down towards the final furlong. So it's Al Quawa, the leader now, and quickening up, has gone quickly. Three lengths clear, chased by Planchart. Then Delta Sierra, Lona Roo from the back, Mr. Michael, but racing now with 50 yards left to go. Al Quawa is clear, running towards the line and wins well from Planchart. Chart and on the near side, Mr. Michael in a close run. Think for the third with Lona Roo and then Diamond Avalanche and Al Mohalal. Is Spader with ample sufficiency and then Santa Monica trying to improve on the outside of Escondida. Furling and a half to go. And it's Miss Gossip now beginning to stretch on by length and a half to two lengths. Chased by Hazamar. Then ample sufficiency down the outside. Santa Monica and then Spader racing now towards the final 100 yards. And the leader is Miss Gossip. Out a couple of lengths in front of Hazamar. Then ample sufficiency and Santa Monica. And running towards the line. It's Miss Gossip twice third. Wins this time. Beats Hazamar. Third ample sufficiency and Santa Monica is fourth. Is Spader with ample sufficiency and then Santa Monica trying to improve on the outside of Escondida. Furling and a half to go and it's Miss Gossip now beginning to stretch on by length and a half to two lengths chased by Hazamar. Then ample sufficiency down the outside Santa Monica and then Spader racing now towards the final hundred yards and the leader is Miss Gossip. Out a couple of lengths in front of Hazamar then ample sufficiency and Santa Monica and running towards the line it's Miss Gossip twice third wins this time beats Hazamar third ample sufficiency in Santa Monica is fourth. with Tiffany and Oliver Ray and then Rock Monju and all dolled up and Aqua Regia racing on now with a little over a furling and a half to go and over on the far side Peace Mission still there in front battling it out with Gricko in the centre and then Storm Ranger Tiffany has made ground between horses and on the near side is Cognitive Ease well inside the final furlong now stretched across the track Gricko in the centre with Tiffany bursting through in the stripes and Cognitive Ease on the near side a three way tie Cognitive Ease on the near side of Tiffany and Gricko in between between them, Storm Ranger is fourth. With Tiffany and Oliver Ray and then Rock Monju and all dolled up and Aqua Regia racing on now with a little over a furling and a half to go. And over on the far side, Peace Mission still there in front, battling it out with Gricko in the centre. And then Storm Ranger, Tiffany has made ground between horses and on the near side is Cognitive Ease. Well inside the final furlong now, stretched across the track, Gricko in the centre with Tiffany bursting through in the stripes and Cognitive Ease on the near side, a three-way tie. Cognitive Ease on the near side of Tiffany and Gricko in between them, Storm Ranger is fourth. And it's Juline in the center with Settle for Red on the near side. Towards the inside is flowing air. A couple of lengths back to House Limit. Focus more and then comes My Twinkle still making ground in the center of the track. Followed by Mannequin. Racing now towards the final furlong. And in the center back into the lead. Settle for Red. My Twinkle coming home well towards the outside. The inside is Juline. They've got now about 50 yards to go. And right from the back of the field. My Twinkle has come storming home. And gets the better of Settle for Red. And My Twinkle opens her account under Gary Halpin, beach saddle for red, and in third due line, Plessair next ahead of Manachin. 
and it's due line in the centre with Settle for Red on the near side towards the inside is Flowing Air a couple of lengths back to House Limit Focus more, and then comes My Twinkle still making ground in the centre of the track followed by Mannequin racing now towards the final furlong and in the centre back into the lead Settle for Red My Twinkle coming home well towards the outside the inside is due line they've got now about 50 yards to go and right from the back of the field My Twinkle has come storming home and gets the better of Settle for Red and My Twinkle opens her account under Gary Halpin beats Settle for Red and in third due line plus air next ahead of Mamachin. And in the centre of the track, the leader is Carla Bianca. From on the inside, Brendan Bracken. Queen Nefertiti down the outside is El Val. And then Piri Wango and Battle of Marathon as they race now to the final furlong. And it's Carla Bianca and Pat Smullen in the lead. From on the far side, Brendan Bracken and Colin Keane. El Val is trying to close under Connor King. And then Queen Nefertiti. Well inside the final 100 yards. Carla Bianca from El Val as they go to the line. Carla Bianca all the way in the mill stakes and gets back to winning ways. Beats El Val and then Brendan Bracken. And Perry Wango, Queen Nefertiti, and tailed off as Battle of Marathon. And in the centre of the track, the leader is Carla Bianca. From on the inside, Brendan Bracken. Queen Nefertiti down the outside is El Val. And then Perry Wango and Battle of Marathon as they race now to the final furlong. And it's Carla Bianca and Pat Smullen in the lead. From on the far side, Brendan Bracken and Colin Keane. El Val is trying to close under Connor King. And then Queen Nefertiti well inside the final 100 yards. Carla Bianca from El Val as they go to the line. Carla Bianca all the way in the mill stakes and gets back to winning ways. Beats El Val and then Brendan Bracken. And Perry Wango, Queen Nefertiti, and tailed off as Battle of Marathon. And it's Fields of Athen Rye out in front. The others being asked serious questions now and making little impression at this stage. Drifting Miss Silwana, Mandawi and Sir Tarek, but racing down towards the final furlong. Fields of Athen Rye is going right away from the other five. Silwana, Drifting Miss, Sir Tarek, Mandawi and Collantry Royal and running up towards the finish. It's Fields of Athen Rye, a runaway winner here for Shamie Heffernan and Aidan O'Brien. Wins by a good 10 or 12 lengths in the challenge stakes. Silwana second second best, third drifting mist, and Sertorak four cleared of the other two. And it's Fields of Athen Rye out in front. The others being asked serious questions now and making little impression at this stage. Drifting Miss Silwana, Mandawi and Sir Tarek, but racing down towards the final furlong. Fields of Athen Rye is going right away from the other five. Silwana, Drifting Miss, Sir Tarek, Mandawi and Collantry Royal and running up towards the finish. It's Fields of Athen Rye, a runaway winner here for Shamie Heffernan and Aidan O'Brien. Wins by a good 10 or 12 lengths in the challenge stakes. Silwana second best, third drifting missed, and Sertorak four cleared of the other two. Two and a half furlongs to go as they straighten up for home in the Summer Members Club Handicap and Volt still there in front and the centre is so sensible. Corbus makes ground on the outside. Or Jock is starting to get competitive as well between horses. Little to choose between these four and then split the Adam and Tom Dooley and Or Jock comes through between horses to hit the front. Followed by Corbus so sensible. Split the Adam on the outside then awakening Volt and racing now inside the final hundred yards. Or Jock tackled on the near side by Corbus. The head to head. Corbus and Or Jock. Oh that's one for the judge three to four lengths to split the atom and then so sensible it's tight Two and a half furlongs to go as they straighten up for home in the Summer Members Club Handicap and Volt still there in front and the centre is so sensible. Corbus makes ground on the outside. Or Jock is starting to get competitive as well between horses. Little to choose between these four and then split the Adam and Tom Dooley and Or Jock comes through between horses to hit the front. Followed by Corbus so sensible. Split the Adam on the outside then awakening Volt and racing now inside the final 100 yards. Or Jock tackled on the near side by Corbus. The head to head Corbus and Or Jock. Oh that's one for the judge. Three to four lengths to split the atom and then so sensible it's tight.